We have to let go of this notion that we are in control of the learning that happens during center time and that we have to control how long kids stay in each center and when they move from center to center because forced rotation does not allow enough time for self-regulation or executive functioning skills to develop. So I like to use the analogy of the movie theater. So let's say you wanted to go see the latest movie from your favorite actor or actress and you got there, you sat down, you got your popcorn and you're ready for the movie to go or to come on and the movie starts and it's everything you thought it would be and then some. And 15 minutes into the movie, an usher walks in. Do those even exist? I'm not sure anymore. Um, the usher walks in and he rings a bell, ding, 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 ding. He turns on the lights and he says, everybody up, everybody up. It's time to go to the next theater. And you're just sitting there like, what? I just started this movie. Gosh, you know, I don't want to do that. I, I, I think, you know, if it was a really good movie, I'd probably uh, throw a little tantrum, wouldn't you? <laughs> because that's not the, the movie I wanted to see isn't in the next theater. And then I go to the next theater and that theater is a movie I really don't want to see. I don't like action films. I don't like films with lots of blowing up and lots of gunfire and stuff like that. But what if that's the movie I had to go see next? I'd be pretty unhappy, wouldn't, wouldn't you? And I might even venture a guess and I'd probably throw a pretty big stinking fit. <laughs> so do you see how when we force the rotation, we're not giving children enough time to develop those self-regulation skills. And we're also cutting down the time they have on those peer-to-peer -peer conversations. I could go on. I, this could be an entire session on the evils of forced rotation. Forced rotation is never the answer in any early childhood classroom because that means the teacher is in charge of everything and the students are uh, powerless and they have to let the teacher do everything for them. And that's not the kind of uh, classrooms that we need to create in the 21st century.